We've set a good level for the last two games um, where we've competed and we've shown that we're more than capable of playing in this division. And you know, for, for large parts of today, the, the performance was was below that level, and uh, that's not good enough for us. Is that genuinely how you feel? Because the crowd seemed to really go with you, and, and their reaction at the end seems to suggest that they were quite pleased with what they'd seen. Yeah, no, the fans are excellent. You know, the fans are going to be with us no matter what. I think, um, you know. It, We've obviously we've kept going right to the end, but that's just that's just what's expected, you know. In terms of quality-wise and and our own performance, you know, we we were nowhere near where we should have been, and and yeah, and I think that's why we've not got anything from the game today. Does this just show then the, the standards that that you and as a team expect of yourselves? Hundred percent. Yeah, you know, like I said, the last two games we've um, the boys have been excellent. The last two games, um, you know, the, the unbeaten coming into today and, and thoroughly deserve to beat that. Um, today it's hard to make a case, you know. I think there was too many passes, too many sloppy passes, too many lapses of quality when it when it got down to the final third. And you know, at this at this level, you're going to get paid for that. So you know, we need to we need to be better than what we were today, and, and we will be. In terms of yourself, though, obviously off the mark, got on in the second half. Must have been a special moment in front of the cop end when you, when you did get the goal. Yeah, no, of course. I'd like I'd like for it to have meant something, meant more, of course, you know, naturally. But you know, it's always to get nice to get off the mark. Um, but Kyle, feeling a bit disappointed about the game, you know, it's um, it's it's going really, you know. Uh, like I said, the last two games the boys have been excellent, and then and then to kind of come in and just look a bit. I thought we looked a bit a little bit nervous, a little bit edgy, and you know the quality that, like I said, we've shown the last two games, we probably didn't show enough of today, and, it, and ultimately that's what's killed us. That must be heartening to know, though, that that you think there's more in you, and that you can get more out of games against teams like Leicester, who are one of the teams that are fancying themselves to be threatening the top six. Yeah, no, hundred percent. You know, I've been here a few weeks now. I train with those boys every day, and I know how much quality there is in that dressing room, and I know that we're a lot better than what we've showed today. So, yeah, like I say, it's the overriding emotion at the minute is disappointment, um, but we, there's not we can do about it now. Um, we, we go again, there's a game on Tuesday, so we're in tomorrow's training and uh, we just got him to put it right. Are you ready for that first start? Has it been frustrating at all so far not getting that? No, of course that's the manager's decision, you know, I've come in, I come in late to pre-season. I didn't have much of pre-season with Sheffield United, so, you know, obviously that's the, gaffer, that's the gaffer's opinions, you know, when... When I've come on every game, you know, I'm trying to make impacts. I'm trying to trying to help the boys out. I'm trying to do do everything the gaffer's telling me. So you know, I'm, I'm just ready and waiting for whenever the gaffer think, thinks it's the right time. Must be exciting though when you, when you've got a manager who will go for it, will make attacking changes. Yourself and Billy came on early in the second half. You went behind again. He throws Ravel on. That that must give, as a team give you real backing and confidence. Yeah, hundred percent. You know, we're not. Uh, you know, we're not going to do anything this year if we if we completely change the way that it has been the last few years. We're not going to start being defensive and being negative. You know, we're not going to get anywhere doing that. Teams have tried to do that. Better teams defensively have tried to do that than us. You know, that's not our game at all. And we don't want to change anything. We want to, you know, we want to throw throw caution to the wind, have a go, and that's 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 the message that the gaffers putting onto us, and that's what we want to attack as well. So you know, if we go. We're going to go down fighting and uh, make sure we give it a good go. But have you seen enough from the first three games and what you've seen in training that it might not necessarily be just a case of survival this year? 100%. You know, like I say, the confidence within the boys and within from me seeing the quality that the boys have and the first two performances, you know, we looked more than comfortable, held more than our own, you know, and if we perform like we did those two, and, you know, there was bits today, don't get me wrong, there was bits today which was good, but we was just lacking that final find a little bit of quality which which we have done in the last two games and you know we, we get that right and, and you know we're confident within ourselves that we can have a real good goal. Made the right move then this summer? Yeah no of course it was um it was pretty cut and dry for me. It was it was a chance to, to prove not to anybody else but prove to myself that I was ready to play in a Premier League. I, I had a taste of it before. Um I had a taste of it before and, and I probably wasn't ready when I was a kid but you know, I've, I've gone out. I've played games for the last couple of years, and now, now I'm now I'm ready to show, still ready to show that um, it's my time.